Hi everybody, it's Deb from d, d Art Gallery. Hope you're all doing well today. Today I have a 14 by 14 scraped canvas. I did a painting I didn't like and scraped it right away and then let it dry. And I'm going to do a swipe today, just a simple swipe. And I'm using all Arteza paints. So let's go over them. Um, I'm using the Arteza Gold using a combination of crimson, red, and silver. I'm using burnt umber, and I also added a little dollop of the DecoArt Rich Espresso with that. I'm using a combination of pale green and titanium white. I just lightened that green up a little bit. And I also added just a dollop of the... Um, the phalo blue with that to make it a kind of a bluish green color and I'll show you consistency right away not even a mound today I love the Arteza paints very nice and the next color is lemon yellow and phalo green And the last color I'm using is a combination of the phalo blue and the Mars black. I just put a dollop of the, the black in that um, blue to darken it up a little bit. My pouring medium is a little bit different today. It's 12 ounces of Floetrol, 8 ounces of Elmer's Glue All, 4 ounces of water, and I added a squirt of GAC to that. The only silicone I used, and the silicone is the spot-on treadmill silicone, is I put two drops of silicone in my swipe color, which today I'm going to be swiping with the yellow. So let's get started laying those paints down. And, and one last color, I'm sorry. I did make up a purple. It turned out to be more like a wine color. I used the scarlet red and the, the phalo blue with mix that up to make this purple. And then I added a little dollop of white just to lighten it a little bit too. So we'll lay down the colors now. I'm going to be swiping from the middle out. I did do a practice swipe with these colors and I, I do like the way it turned out. So decided to go ahead and do a swipe here today. I like to run my paint right off the edge to help cover that edge. This Arteza Gold is a lighter gold color. Very pretty. And this burnt umber that I mixed with that rich espresso deco art is so pretty it's uh, got some sparkle to it here's the light green that i made up And this dark blue. Oops, got a little bit too much there. And the last one is the, the phalo green.
And now I'll just take a look at my colors and see where I can add a little more. You know, probably will tip it to cover the canvas here. Put a little more of the gold in there. Okay, let's do a little tipping here to cover the canvas. Okay, that should be good. And we'll take something out of here that doesn't belong. A couple of things. And now we're just going to lay down my swipe color. And remember, this is the only one that has the silicone in it. And I think I will start out with um, my plastic sheet here. See how that goes? Just want to place that in that swipe color and just let it glide down not putting I'm not putting any pressure on it and I'm gonna color cover my sides here while I have this paint on it And swipe it again and move some of that over. clean off my sheet here now I'll do the other side See those cells popping up right away?
And one last swipe here. Okay. Just looking at my sides here, making sure everything's covered. It's actually looking pretty good here. I'm just going to do a little tip back and forth. I like to do that. Just move the paint a little bit. I think it just gives it a little bit more interest. Okay, I'll move it back to the center. And then I'm going to torch it. Okay, and now I think I'm just going to take, I'm going to take a popsicle stick here today, and I'm just going to run some lines through here to make it a little more interesting. Just to break it up a little bit. I'm wiping my little stick off after every time I drag it through here. You can pretty much go around any cells that you really like and you don't want to disturb. Okay, I think I'll just do a little more tipping here. If you watched my other videos, I am not one for liking that centered being exactly in the center. I like it to look a little bit uh, uneven. See if I can just move a little bit more of the paint, that yellow paint down. I 
bring it back a little bit. Okay. Just gonna use my stick just a little bit more in here just to break this up a little bit. And one more torch, and then I'll get you down for a close-up. Just going to clean off the bottom here a minute. Okay, and I will get you down for a close-up. You can tell me what you think. Okay, we have the upper left-hand corner. I like the red. The red cells look really nice. Here's all the yellow, the swipe color. And how I dragged it down. And I do like those, those uh, blue cells there. Pretty with the purple around them. And this is the lower left-hand corner. And we'll take you up the middle. Those are pretty in there too. And you can see some of the gold here coming through, right in here. It's very busy in here. Again, I can see a lot of shiny going on in here. It's that, the red that I mixed with the silver. This is the upper right-hand corner here. and lower right hand corner. So I really did get quite a few cells considering I only used two drops of the silicone in one color, the swipe color. So let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video or like, share, subscribe if you haven't. Please ring the bell and choose all so you'll know the next time that I do post a new video. Thanks for watching everybody. Until next time, take care. Bye for now. Hi everybody, it's me again. I just wanted to let you know that I started looking at the painting after I had finished it and I just thought it needed something a little more. So what I did is I got my water balloon out, a real small water balloon, and I just did some water balloon kisses on it. You can see them there, little flowers. I just think it really added something to it and I put them through the middle also you can see them there so I'm a lot happier with the painting now and I hope you like it too thanks so much for watching bye